Hi guys, I am the Oranda and uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, change the fuse from the from the lighter circuit because uh, my lighter circuit is not working uh, therefore I cannot use my uh, my GPS and it uh, it really uh, cheeses me off so I haven't done it before uh, I take you all through actually sorry I have done it before uh, but I take you through step by step now I know what I'm doing now basically I come here camera woman uh, you find you find your your Vauxhall um, handbook, and then you find a page where the where the fuses are, and it will it will explain to you exactly uh, how to find and how op how to open up the whole thing. Now we are we are going to go open up the bonnet and uh, let's find that little naughty fuse. So obviously I did the whole thing a couple of days ago, uh, so uh, it, it should be straightforward. Now this is the this is the fuse box. This is the fuse box, and uh, you just uh, there there are two little there are two little plastic uh, ears, one on here, and one on the one on the one on the back here, right there. It's difficult it's difficult to see, but uh, you will you will get a feel for it. So you push it down, push it down and then unlock it now <clears throat> this this is the this is the fuse uh, the fuse box for the for the whole car and now we take the book we take the book and compare it and compare it here as you can as you can clearly see sorry uh, that way around as you can as you can clearly see he is here are all the informations now we find the fuse which which is for the which is for the light which is for the lighter um, cigarette lighter number 29 oh where is it when where did it go sorry now I'm getting a bit confused here Right, but I have to now turn it this way, uh, upside down. Uh, this is here 29, which is which is already which is already missing here because I took it out a couple of couple of days ago. So as you can clearly see, 29 cigarette lighter missing. Now let me show you the fuse. This is the fuse. This is the this is the fuse I took out a couple of days ago, and if you look against the light, you will see, you will see. Let, let's the cam let the camera focus. I don't know if it's, if you can see it. It's, it's not really focusing, but it's broken. But to be to be to be hundred percent sure, I've got here, I've got here a multimeter. And we're gonna check. We're gonna check with the multimeter what the situation is. <clears throat> now, if the fuse is good, it needs the multimeter needs to jump on zero here, as you can clearly see, shorting it out. Now we go to the fuse, and nothing is happening. So that means this fuse is definitely gone. But if you see it, if if you if you look it against the light, you will see it. So you don't uh, you don't really need a multimeter now. I went on eBay and I purchased I purchased 20 of those fuses for one pound 88. I've got 20 here. So for me, being a non-smoker, this is gonna be this is gonna be the end of time till I'm using all those up. And now you have to be obviously you have to make sure you buy you buy the right fuse and yes you can clearly see here is the good one and here is the broken one so you can clearly see here the here the here the difference but i'll show you one more time with the multimeter as well
Yeah. Look at the multimeter now. Yeah, jumping on zero. This fuse is definitely good. His is the old fuse. It doesn't do absolutely anything. This is the set on the multimeter. It's like a sign of a, of a diode. Right, now let's pop this baby in. Obviously, it is really, really important that you that you that you buy the fuse which is uh, which is written in the book. In this case, this is a 20 amp fuse for the cigarette lighter. I'm sorry for that noise. My uh, my little boy is in the car. Right. So we just pop this in. Right. Okay. Normally, on the original fuse. Uh, the letter is written, uh, the, the numbers are written 20, but of course I checked now, so this is definitely a 20 amp. Now, we pop this back. We pop this back. Here's the information how it's done. <clears throat> Lock, so that way. Yeah. Pull back, make sure it's nice and tight because um, this is a this is a waterproof unit. Make sure no water and, and dust and stuff gets into it. Now, this is it, guys. This is it. All fixed within within five minutes. And uh, in the garage, it will cost, it will cost uh, maybe twenty or thirty pounds. Now let's check it out. It's okay. It's okay, Jenny. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go to the other side, come on. Right. Now, let's pop this whole thing in. Let's pop it in, right. Sorry for the noise, my little boy is a little bit impatient uh, or impatient to be that way. Now, obviously, you, we, have to turn, we have to turn the whole thing on here. And as you can clearly see, as you can clearly see, the light it's on it's coming on the yellow light I, I don't know if you can see it look that's it on off on off so again we have we have fixed the fuse in the car and this is this is save us uh, this saved us a lot of money again one more time johnny please stop it thank you very much the all-rounder Please share the video, like it, and tell all your mates.